Hi, everybody. This is Alan Fine, and I'm here with Roger Kirkwood, who's the expedition leader on Aurora's Sylvia Earl. We are on Sylvia Earl, and we are in Antarctica, and he'll tell us more about where we are and what we've been doing here on Insider Travel Report. You are, you are, I know you're going to say, oh no, Pasha, but you are one of the stars. Along with all the animals we meet, you're one of the stars because you introduced them to all of us. But what I do want to ask you is, um, how did you find yourself in this position? How did you, how did you get here? Uh, my training is as a marine biologist, and I had dived in Antarctica, and Aurora expeditions were after a dive guide who dived in Antarctica and so I got my first gig back in 1999 and uh, continued on as a naturalist and now I work as naturalist or expedition leader and I've been with them for 23 years. Wow and and so prior to that did you have any idea where your future w- would take you? Not really I've, I'm a research scientist so that's my main career and I've been doing this as a almost a hobby or a second career for some time now. I did work for the Australian Antarctic Division over a period of about 10 years and did multiple trips to Antarctica with them before coming into the tourism industry. So, But it was always Antarctica. It was never other parts. It's predominantly Antarctica. I also go to the Arctic and Scotland and uh, most recently Costa Rica. So it's worldwide. So let's talk about your staff. It, it's, you have a, a wonderful staff. How large is it? Uh, we've got a staff of about 19. Uh, we have some specialist kayak guides and snorkel guides amongst them. And then we have a group of naturalists that include uh, seabird ecologists and geologists, glaciologists, and then a number of historians, as well as the management staff, the deputy expedition leader, um, hotel coordinator etc what's wonderful is like this is the type of cruise where we go ah we need some entertainment we need a show well we've got all the people who have all the information and they are the show yeah yeah and the the staff are quite diverse as well so uh, each person gr- brings their own unique goods to the show right right yeah. it's a variety show <laughs> yeah yeah it, it's uh we, we're here really to look after people and to create expeditioners out of them to create more worldly people and now you have um, the ability to look at this from a, a, a longer view. How have expeditions changed? Uh, I think the uh, the comfort level on board has certainly increased. So uh, the ships are more stable. Um, they're able to tolerate larger seas in great comfort. And when you come back to the ship, it's it's like coming back to a hotel room rather than coming back to a a ship where uh, you have tiny portholes and the dining rooms are all very crammed and things. So this is open and luxury, really. So I take it that's you started in that environment. Yeah, yeah, much smaller ships where uh, that, where you were part of the crew and we actually did the lifting of the zodiacs on board the vessels ourselves and um, worked in very tightly with the crew. Uh, that kind of brings me to the next question, which is what are the improvements that Sylvia Earle has that makes your job easier? Uh, a, a big improvement is uh, that we have staff on board who look after the hotel side of things and, and makes that luxurious and they're professionals at it whereas previously they were seamen who had adapted to that role so it, it, there's much more care of the people on board a second improvement with the Sylvia Earl is certainly stability in the ocean and making for a much smoother ride and probably a third one is the dynamic positioning which we have whereby we can stop at a point and the ship will hold there. We don't drop and anchor the ship by using GPS and computers will just hold a position. So that makes operations very quick at uh, departure. Yeah. That's, a, that's a, a topic of sustainability. The fact that we almost don't, even though we visit all these landings, we, ha- we don't really touch any of the landings. Can you explain what I mean by the fact that we don't leave any trace? Uh, yeah, well, 
firstly, not dropping an anchor means that there's no damage to the sea floor. It, how minor that might be, we don't do it if we don't drop the anchor. Uh, when we go ashore, it certainly leave footprints only. We all staff are trained to try and minimise any um, interaction with the wildlife that will change the behaviour of the wildlife. So we're very careful with how we work ashore and uh, very careful with our um, products as well. We, in, within Antarctica, there's no uh, effluent from the ship put out into the ocean. It's all stored on board the ship until we get out of the Antarctic area. So we take all of our rubbish back with us. I was just impressed that, I mean, leave only footprints. We're not even sitting down. No, and that's just come in this season. Uh, and that's, people would like to sit down. And in the past, it's been good to sit down and just, yeah, just be impressed with where you are. But unfortunately, due to avian influenza and the possibility that bird poop might be around on the ground and we could transfer it through our clothing uh, this season IATO have brought in this guideline that no no seating you seem enthusiastic about everywhere we go but what are your favorite places the the simple answer is my favorite place is the place I've just been to in sunshine in that we can land in comfort in zodiacs we had a few of those we well, Brown Bluff, we had a spectacular day, but we also had a great day at Paradise, Paradise Harbour. And that, to me, that's a place I always look forward to going to because of the magical Zodiac cruising we've had there in the past. And uh, you can so regularly find seals on ice flows. You can see carvings of the glacier front there and lots of ice in the water. It really encapsulates Antarctica to me. The scenery around it is just spectacular. Yeah. Now, and just to wrap it up, um, we have over 111,000 travel advisors watching. What is your message as to why uh, clients should choose Aurora to do their exploring? Um, I, I've, I'm very loyal to Aurora. I've only worked with them. I haven't worked with other companies. The thing I like about Aurora is the loyalty that they, they bring to people who come on board and to their staff that... Uh, but as far as what I think Aurora does that other companies don't do so well is they try to treat passengers as fellow expeditioners and so that they're not just passengers, they're individuals. We're not just uh, shunting people ashore and back and showing them the scenery. We want to make expeditioners and Antarctic ambassadors out of them and we strive hard to get that mix. You have. I want to thank you for talking to us. My pleasure. Thank you. And this is Alan Fine for Insider Travel Report.